point, so here's what we got today. New condenser coils all in this carrier unit. Those coils are worn out and kind of barely gets any airflow through it anymore. The unit keeps banging off on high head pressure. You can only put one uh, one stage on at a time, so we're getting the gas recovered there and get this thing out. It's really not going to be that bad of a job. We only got to take off a couple connections here. Suction line that dries. That down there. That fitting there. Those fittings will change the dryers and that fitting there. This thing, I'll get the new one in. Unit here, so I just recover now. My buddy who I'm working with hooked up his recovery machine, so I couldn't try out my new one yet. <laughs> just want to get this done though. You see we don't have much room on this roof. In the middle of a city here, there's all kinds of crap up on this roof, but this thing's been getting, I don't know how this got destroyed over the years, but it did, so. Is what it is. But these condensers aren't bad to change at all. So, get this down, try to uh, take you guys along, bring it through this. Alright boys, we're going to change out the dryers here when the condenser is out of the way. It'll be a lot easier to get a lot more room there with the torch. My buddy Brian in there getting it done. job. I uh, always pay attention again to dryers. This one's gonna this one is facing down. That liquid line comes up and goes into our evaporator. This one goes up and goes into our evaporator. So both opposite ways on this one. The way they go in and then they'll be coming in feeding here, feeding into our valves. Got our course, you guys. We're doing a nitrogen test right now. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. I'm gonna leave checking with the bubbles, all that. Yeah. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna let it hold pressure for a little while and uh, get both these stages on a vacuum. We're basically done. It's all in. All in, and that's about it. Just finishing up here. Getting stage one, getting the rest of the charge in that. Stage two's done, and they're gonna button everything up and pretty much it. Not too bad for a job today. Sorry if I missed some parts here, guys. We got busy working, but you know, whatever. You guys get the gist of it, see what's going on. So, tools here, well, the old Beto, you gotta love that, boys. All right, boys, so uh, that was pretty much it for that one. I'm sorry I couldn't get into detail on every little thing we did in there. You know, you get you get going, you get working, and summer we're busy. I, I can't go over every every little detail. I apologize for that. So the guys that haven't seen this done, hopefully, you know, you get the gist of it. You know, it's just, it's hard sometimes, guys. You know what I mean? I got to do, you know, my real job and what I do making a living comes first. You know, this YouTube is obviously just, just second for me, and I'm just doing it to help some people out. So I apologize if I miss some things. But I'm... Um, no, like I said, I didn't show. We got it on a vacuum, 500 microns each stage, pulled down nice after we let it sit under nitro for about an hour under nitrogen charge. Leak checked all good, so, you know, charged both stages up, got it running, and just amazing um, the difference how the space was, was cooling. Uh, pulled right down a set point after that. The, the air that that thing was pulling through was... It's amazing just what some bent over fins can do in a damaged coil, you know, for a system. But um, right now I'm going to cut to another clip. I want to do a little trade talk that kind of goes off of this job a little bit. So hopefully you guys will stick around and uh, listen to a little bit of that next because uh, a lot of guys seem, seem like you guys like that stuff. So, all right, boys, here we go. All right, guys, so... 
After that job, um, you saw my buddy Brian there doing some brazing. Um, let's give you a little history. He's um, he's one of my best friends. I've worked worked and known him now for like 16 years. I knew him. I met him when he we, we used to work back at another company years and years ago. I met him when he was 19 years old. I think I was 25, 26 then. Okay, so I was in the trade. I don't know, like four and a half, five years. And um, so we we got to talking. Um, at the end of that job, we hung out. The, the place we were at does coffees and ice creams and all that stuff. So we were having a milkshake, sitting outside, cooling off, and um, just started talking about, like, you know, he kind of brought it up. He's like, you know, these kids now aren't going to do this job. And I'm like, I know, I know, it's crazy. Just, you know, and that, that's not even a hard job that we did. It's a condenser coil, but, but the way things seem to be now it's like they never send the young guys to do stuff like that so it's like how are you going to learn okay I know how I learn I gotta be sent out to do it and you know it's like but they don't they don't do that now at least where I'm at you know you can have the younger guys or the green guys like come with us but really you're not gonna learn anything like you learn some by watching but you're not gonna learn unless you do it you know, like back in the back in the old days, oh my God, they would have been like, like that job just on this video. They'd been like, oh, Chris, uh, you're going to do a condenser coil today? He'd be like, oh, okay, uh, I never, I've never done one of those yet. Well, that's too fucking bad, kid. You're gonna go out there and do it. Okay. Well, what if I get stuck with a problem? Whatever. Well, you call us if you have a problem. Whatever. You're gonna stay there all day, and you're gonna get it running. It's gonna be done. Okay, so that's how I learned. Like, that's how it was in the old days. It, it, it's just not anymore. You know, like I said, my buddy Brian, he brings it up all the time. And he is, he came into this trade. You know, when I met him, he was green as can be. He worked at, like, two other places just for, like, the summers doing, like, sheet metal and stuff like that, you know. So he really didn't do much commercial stuff. And I don't know, he says I've taught him a ton of shit and I, I don't know he may not even be in this trade if it wasn't for me which makes me feel real good I don't know if that's true or whatever but you know I don't he says it so hey you know and I still help him out he helps me out now he's grown into probably one of the best techs I know now he's been in this trade like 17 years now 16 17 years so he's he knows what he's doing now, and he's a lot better with the HVAC stuff than I am because I don't do it as much anymore. I, I'm mainly all refrigeration now, which is what I like anyway, but it's just it's just the point for um, the younger guys. If you're out with the older guys, the techs, whatever, pay attention, jump in, try to help, ask, ask to do something, you know, because it, it's really the only way you're going to learn. It really is. You can read your books and study and watch these videos. Yes, you will get an idea how to do things, but you will not really know until you are out in the field doing them. You know what I mean? So, I just wanted to add that quick at the end, guys. I don't know, I could probably go on and on about this, but it's just just a cycle of younger guys we're seeing here lately, especially the few years. I know there's plenty of you guys out there. I'm not trying to shit talk about anyone. I'm just, just saying from what, what we've seen, you know, it, it, it's just unreal. Like, you know, guys standing around with their hands in their pockets, this and that. Oh, my God. In my younger day, if I did that, Jesus, I probably would have got, like, a wrench thrown at me or something. You, you know what I mean? You just, if you think of something to do, I don't know, start sweeping up, start cleaning up, start organizing guys' tools, getting them together, anything, because, I don't know, it's just different now. It's not as, uh, I mean, we're in a trade, guys, but it's not as rough as it used to be like back in the day it was just crazy you got shit on and that's the way it was and you did that for your first couple of years until you started proving yourself but i don't know now now i guess you just can't do that stuff but either way like i said i could get into this more guys if you're interested let me know but um i appreciate everyone for watching and if you guys are new consider subscribing like i said i always appreciate the support guys and uh hopefully we'll be getting some more stuff up for you soon we're getting real busy now so Hopefully, like I said, I can get a lot of uh, a lot of decent footage for some good calls or some jobs or whatever. So, thanks again, guys. All right, I catch you boys in the next one.